Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And remember, you can turn on Storage Sense in Windows 11. Windows 11 has this great feature, which is a automatic cleanup of unwanted files on your hard drive. And it's very useful if you want to make sure that the uh, files that are unused, uh, especially in some of the folders and temporary files, are removed f uh, regularly without having to do pretty much nothing except making sure that it's set up and running. Of course, there are things to be careful when you set it up, and we're going to talk about it in this video in Windows 11. Right-click your Start button, go into the Settings app. Here you will see that there's Storage in the list, and then you will have something called Storage Sense, which is an automatic cleanup process. So when you click Storage Sense, what it's going to bring you is the, um, first of all, the, the switch for on and off. So here they say keep Windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system and app files. Uh, that's the, uh, the little check mark that you have at the top. Then you have automatic user content cleanup, which is the cleanup for your own uh, content, your own you know, files and, and folders and all sorts of things that can actually um, just, you know, get on your hard drive as you use your PC. So you turn it on, then you have, when do you want to run it? You can run it during low free disk space, which is default. But you can also say, I want to run it, for example, once a week or every month or every day. So I can say, for example, once a week. Then you'll say delete files in my recycle bin if they haven't been there, uh, if they have been there for over 30 days. Now this also has an option. Remember, you don't want to maybe choose one day for a very simple reason. You, if you erase folders, files, they go into recycle bin. It's a last chance to get them back if you made a mistake. So usually I'll keep this. For example, that 30 day default I find is this fine. If I find over the next days or weeks that something I put in the recycle bin uh, or deleted is important, I can still go and retrieve it. So that gives you a, you know, a safe moment where you know you can just retrieve whatever uh, could be um, a wrong, you know, or a mistake from, uh, you know, we are human after all. Then there's delete files in my download folder. This, you got to be careful. If you download files in your download, so by default, your browsers, for example, download in the download folder. Maybe what's in there, you don't need anymore after you download it once, which means you can turn on the clean, the, the download folder. But there's a lot of things. I, you know, am not the guy that usually takes what's in the download folder and, you know, cleanly puts it in its specific folders and the correct folder all the time. I often leave them there, uh, and I know that they're there if I need to go and get them. It's not necessarily the best practice, but in my case, I don't want the download folder to erase because it will erase some of the stuff that I want to keep. But if you have good practices, better than me, and actually take them from the download folder, put them in the proper, you know, documents or image or whatever that you need, then you can also have the download folder cleanup. If you download a lot of files, that folder can become quite big, so you can choose the uh, the length. Then you have locally available cloud content. Uh, do you want to um, remove some of these from your computer? So um, if you use OneDrive, I do. What happens is that you have two things that happen. One is there's a image of icons. They're going to tell you this is the content available, but Often you'll notice there's a little cloud icon or there's a little check mark. Check mark means it's downloaded to your PC. A cloud icon will say, well, it's online in the cloud in OneDrive, but it's not on your PC. What happens is if you click on it, it'll download a copy because you want to use it. And you can download multiple copies of everything. What can happen is that these copies, maybe they were needed once, but not needed in the next months. Well, you can have a cleanup of uh, the files that are downloaded and have them online only, and you can choose a delay. So if, um, you know, for example, files downloaded from the internet, from the cloud, sorry, from OneDrive, weren't used for more than 30 days, well, erase the copy I have 
and just keep them in the cloud. So you can choose a certain amount of time. And of course, once all of that is set up, you can click Run Storage Sense Now, which will do the first cleanup of your PC. Remember that if you set this right, especially with the download folder, the there's no danger of losing any files. It's not going to erase anything from the image, the videos, the download, the uh, sorry, the documents folder. Uh, these are all going to be there. Don't worry. And this does not uh, clean the browser cache, for example, uh, which is not necessarily a good idea to clean all the time. Uh, a lot of people have that habit, which I consider to be a bad habit more than a good habit because if you clean the browser cache all the time, it takes longer for each page to actually load on your browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.